This is Scott Spears here in the Classic Championship Wrestling Control Center as we are getting ready for one of the biggest events in Classic Championship Wrestling history. It is Wrestle Bowl 2 coming to Marion, Ohio on Friday night, this Friday, November the 20th, 2015, 7 p.m. start time at the Cadet Hall over on Church Street, a new home for Classic Championship Wrestling. If you'd like tickets for this event, they are $10, and you can get those by calling 740-802-4337 or showing up at 6 o'clock when the doors open on Friday night and getting a ticket early. Or you can pick them up at the WWGH Studios located in the Marion Center Mall right across from the nail salon uh, any weekday between 10 and 3 p.m. Now, this event has hit the high note. Today is Sunday. Sunday, November the 15th, five days away from the big event. And in the Marion Star today, here it is. Charity event features wrestling legend. Can you believe it? The newspaper is covering the arrival of Nikolai Volkov. It is going to be a happening without doubt. Now let's run down the card of this big wrestling event on Friday night. Number one, we have a huge match kicking off the event. Referee Ron. One of our referees, our senior official, will be taking on the seven foot Mr. 90210. Now there is a special stipulation in this match. If Mr. 90210 wins, referee Ron is fired. If referee Ron wins, then all his calls are final from now on, never to be challenged again. President Harry Tackett has, has made this match, uh, come up with this match. He's the one who put this in motion. I'm not really sure if it's a good idea uh, for referee Ron to be getting in there with a seven-foot gentleman who is a professional wrestler who once boxed James Buster Douglas. The referee Ron says he has a couple guys training him. If President Tackett gets up from his seat, uh, he's immediately disqualified. There's so much going on in this match. It's one of those matches you just can't miss. I believe the, the sentimental favorite is going to be referee Ron. But Mr. 90210 is a big, big challenge, and referee Ron has to know it. That's one of the big events going on on September or November 20th, excuse me. Then we've got a big six-man tag team match. Demon Khan, Sin, and Twisted, three local favorites, will be taking on the Hangman and SP the Ghost. And we're not even sure who their third partner is at this point. We've had two guys back out, but we have SP the Ghost and the hangman the hangman we saw back at the birthday bash that's going to be a tremendous six-man uh, event that i'm sure will be high flying high intensity high action then we have a match that's being billed as a bit of a grudge match lockdown the crazy prisoner will be going one-on-one -on -one with gdt who has miss kimberly in his corner lockdown has went after miss kimberly in the past He's made threats toward Miss Kimberly, who is GDT's girlfriend. A lot of passion there, a lot of combustible energy, and you know if you want to make somebody angry, you mess around with their girlfriend, and that could be really what sways the tide, turns the tide, changes the whole complexion of this, of this match. President Terry Tackett has said Miss Kimberly is not to have a hand laid on her. Lockdown has threatened President Tackett, he's threatened Miss Kimberly. You don't know what's going to happen there. From there, we have Bobo Brazil Jr. in his first title defense, the heavyweight champion in Classic Championship Wrestling, in a three-way Texas Tornado match. Now, what that means is all three gentlemen will be in the ring at the same time. But these three gentlemen, this is unbelievable. You've got Bobo Brazil Jr., the champion. You've got Uncle Hogg, who is the number one contender after winning the, winning the Ox Baker uh, Commemorative Battle Royal back in April of 2014. He weighs 565 pounds. The third man in this fray is WWE superstar, legendary bodyguard, Mr. Hughes. Who's gonna win this? All three in there at the same time. Basically anything goes, and Bobo doesn't even have to be pinned to lose the title. If Hughes pins Hogg, he's the world champion. If Hogg pins Hughes, He's the world champion. That's going to be an off-the-hook match. And culminating, Nikolai Volkov's going to be there, WWE Hall of Famer, as the newspaper has already identified. But he is entering in a match 
that it could be a career ender for him. Nikolai Volkov will go one on one with the undefeated man who's been banned in 32 states, the Butcher Beast. Nikolai Volkov's out of his mind, and I think he's made a tremendous, tremendous mistake by signing this match. But that is an epic battle, one for the ages you're not going to want to miss. And if that wasn't enough, when this is all over, all of these men are going to re-enter the Deadly Drawing Battle Royal. The Deadly Drawing Battle Royal will have all of these men involved, as well as Cody Reaper, another local favorite. We will have a drawing that will take place that night. Two men will start, and every two minutes thereafter, a new man will enter the fray. The only way to be eliminated from this match is to be thrown over the top rope. The winner at the end of the night, the last man standing, will be the new number one contender for the CCW Heavyweight Championship. Look at the people in this battle royal. Bobo Brazil Jr., The Butcher Beast, Nikolai Volkov, Mr. Hughes, 565-pound Uncle Hog, GDP, Lockdown, SP the Ghost, Demon Khan, Sin, uh, Mr. 90210, Seven Footer, you can't discount him. This is gonna be an amazing night. Cody Reaper, who won't have wrestled a match that night, may be the odds on favorite because he is gonna be the freshest one. But again, it all comes down to the luck of the draw. The winner, the new number one contender. That's gonna be an amazing night. Friday night, November the 20th, 7 p.m. start time, Cadet Hall, right here in Marion. Now, also, don't forget the night before at the River Valley High School at 7 p.m. It's the 16th annual Night of a Thousand Stars where we will be honoring Nikolai Volkov with the Madge Cooper Guthrie Humanitarian Award. The Martha Douse Dance School will perform. The Dance Factory, Eric Bressy, the brother of Elvis Presley. Uh, the current Miss Ohio, Sarah Hyder, Mr. Jingling, the Ridgedale High School Show Choir, a whole host of others that night. Seth Schellinger will be there. Dick Shafrath will be there. Former Cleveland Brown and Ohio State Buckeye. Mary Ellen Withrow, 40th Treasurer of the United States, will be there. Nikolai Volkov, it's going to be a happening. That's at the River Valley High School on Thursday night, November the 19th at 7 p.m. That's $10 a ticket. You can get those at the door. Two big nights, Thursday night, November the 19th, 7 p.m., River Valley High School. It is the Night of a Thousand Stars, and then Friday night at the Cadet Hall, 7 p.m., it's Wrestle Bowl 2015. You're not going to want to miss either one of those. I know I've got my ticket. Don't miss it.